strong, yeah. Okay. No more? No more? Good. Okay. Mm. Some days ago, an old woman came to the monastery and she wanted to talk to me. She was about 70 years old. And she was talking. And after a while, she started to cry. So I asked, what happened? And she said, you know, when I was a young woman, I got pregnant. And it was very difficult so I had an abortion and I went on with my life and later on I forgot. But recently the whole thing came up again. She said, followed by a ghost. And I know I created this very own ghost by myself. So I was very quiet and listened to what this old woman had to tell. She said at that time, I thought it will have no consequences. And everyone around me told me it's fine. It's not a human. But she knew. And she felt very, very guilty. And she asked me if she was a murderer. So it made me think and re-examine a lot. And how we treat ourselves and the things we think is not important. And it also made me think how we, as parents, brothers and sisters, and society are acting. And she told me, you know, somehow I forgot but my body and my mind always remember. So when we meditate, what are we looking for? 
Do we just want to avoid the judgment? Meditation means to turn around. To turn around and face what we have to face. Otherwise, we just keep on spinning the wheel of causation faster and faster. Many think meditation is a replacement. As I said many times, the world is on fire. It always has been. To break through the karmic cycle, how many times are we reborn as demigods? How many times are we reborn as hungry ghosts? So this old woman knew there is no one else to blame. But still, the consequences won't go away. So this afternoon, my son, my three-year-old, went outside playing with his friends on the playground. But he was lost and we were looking for him. And after 10 minutes, a young mother brought him back and he was crying a little bit. And I asked him what happened, little man. And he, he was scared, but he told me that he was looking for us but took the wrong way. And I asked him if he was scared. He said, yes, I was. And he told me when he went around the corner, God sent him this young mother and she took him and brought him back. So I asked him, so God was watching you? And he said, yes. And I'm very grateful that God sent me this person. Sometimes hell and heaven are just an inch away. How mysterious this all is. When we meditate, We try to see clear. But this body and mind is very, very sticky. So we get confused a lot.
So is the meditation of a Buddhist monk the same as the meditation of a Christian monk? Is it the same or different? So nowadays, the Buddhists are the good guys. And the Christians are the bad guys. But as you know, you always will become this or that what you hate most. So I have to protect my brothers and sisters. Last week, I made a funeral ceremony. And the widow organized the whole thing. And she said that they were fed up with the Catholic priest from the village. Because all these years, he wasn't taking care of his family. And she told me that the priest never came to their place. That's why they decided not to have a Christian funeral. So I told them, well, all the brothers and sisters, It's not their task changing diapers. So nowadays, everyone thinks I'm the most important one. And the whole universe has to listen to me. But death doesn't care. Dying doesn't care what you think about it. So we become more and more vulnerable. When death enters our door and knocks on it. So when we meditate, what are we doing? playing with the flesh affairs or playing with the mind affairs. When you meditate and you become very, very quiet, when you listen, Everything becomes very noisy. What is your goal? What is your intention? When you meditate. Or let's ask this. What are you Imitating.
maybe this is a more important question. What do you imitate? 